We've covered hoarding cases involving dogs, cats, even birds. Uh, but this might be a first. A local rescue group says they are dealing with a bad case of goat hoarding. This house outside of Shawnee was once home to a dozen goats, and as News Force Kaylee Olivas found out, they were all living inside, eating through walls and making it their own personal litter box. Twelve goats all living in a tiny home. A Shawnee rescue group saved these goats you see behind me on Sunday afternoon from a home they say was nearly uninhabitable. It was heartbreaking to see on um, obviously an animal welfare um, level, but on a human level, it was heartbreaking. This is what Megan Olson walked into over the weekend, a mobile home taken over by goats. It no longer becomes a home. It becomes a... Uh, sort of a fortress just to, to hide in. These walls had been chewed through by the goats, dirt covering the entire living room floor, and feces everywhere. Olson says the smell alone was horrific. It's very hard to breathe. Uh, it's, it's, I guess you could say comparable to, to, to chemicals. Olson says there were 50 goats living here at one point, but by the time they got there, there were only 12. Each one has a list of health concerns, including worms and upper respiratory infections. Luckily, they're now living their best lives on One Day Ranch's farm, undergoing medical treatment and care. As for the home they once grew up in, a family representative tells News 4, quote, the plan as of now is to clean the property and sell it eventually. Our main concern is just trying to, to keep these guys um, as happy and healthy as possible. Near Shawnee, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, the rescue group is now calling this herd the 12 Goats of Christmas. Uh, they say they are in desperate need, too, of donations. So if you'd like to contribute, we have the link on our website. And 